Hey everybody, Julian here with some exciting news about DirectX 12 Ultimate, the new standard for next-gen games. Microsoft's updated API bundles up a bunch of innovative tech that NVIDIA first rolled out with GeForce RTX in 2018. These features include DirectX ray tracing, mesh shading, variable rate shading, and sampler feedback. This is great news because now developers can bring these into more games and you will reap the benefits. Benefits like performance boosts and more beautiful game worlds. At the heart of DirectX 12 Ultimate is ray tracing. I know most of you are already experts, but let me recap real quick. By mirroring how light actually behaves in reality, improved shadows, accurate global illumination, and hyper-immersive reflections are now possible. Ray tracing is the biggest leap in graphical fidelity since 2002, and its inclusion in DirectX 12 Ultimate, as well as all major game engines, means that you can expect to see ray tracing in more and more games. Another NVIDIA technology that will make games more beautiful is mesh shading. Mesh shading is a programming model for geometry that gives developers the ability to create highly detailed worlds while not overloading the CPU, which can bottleneck the GPU. NVIDIA's Asteroids demo showed this off, as mesh shaders dynamically adjust the level of detail of countless individual asteroids, which would have otherwise taken a bigger toll on performance. This allows the GPU to reduce its workload from trillions of triangles down to the few million triangles necessary to draw the scene in real time, while still maintaining a visually rich asteroid field sprawling out before your ship. DX12 Ultimate will also implement the performance boosting technology called variable rate shading. VRS allows the developer to control the amount of detail, shading more detail in parts of the scene that benefit from it and less in parts that don't, giving developers more control over both quality and performance. For example, a fast-moving object in a scene doesn't need every pixel to be rendered every frame, as it's moving so quickly that you can't perceive all the detail anyway. Pixels in areas that don't frequently change can also be rendered less often, easing the GPU's workload and upping performance. In Wolfenstein Youngblood, variable rate shading was the basis for NVIDIA adaptive shading on Vulkan, which boosted performance up to 15% while still keeping dystopian occupied Paris looking just as good. Now, with DirectX 12 Ultimate, devs can bring this tech to DirectX games as well. VRS also underpins foveated rendering, which can be used for virtual reality games to render fewer pixels in the periphery of your vision, helping reach higher VR frame rates. And finally, there's sampler feedback. Like VRS, this feature works smarter to reduce your GPU load and improve performance. We can more efficiently shade objects that don't change from frame to frame, and reuse the object's colors as calculated in previous frames. That means your GPU's horsepower can be used for pumping out more frames instead of unnecessary busy work. Sampler feedback also improves texture streaming. Now developers can more intelligently stream high-resolution textures into their large open worlds to avoid stuttering and popping. That translates to more immersive worlds to lose yourself in. It's exciting to see the features we pioneered with Turing come to the DirectX 12 Ultimate API so that developers everywhere can start using them. If you're powered by a GeForce RTX card, you're ready for the next generation of games. For the latest in PC gaming and graphics, be sure to subscribe to GeForce, and thanks for watching.